Hi, today we will be looking at an application in autonomous driving using car detection. We will be using a YOLO model which means you only look once for object detection and segmentation. The ideas in this notebook are described in YOLO papers by Redmond and Farhadi in these two links. In this project, we will learn to use object detection on the car detection dataset and deal with bounding boxes. First, we will be importing different libraries for our convenience. We will be using Keras with TensorFlow backend. We will be using simple libraries like NumPy, Pandas for basic pre-processing applications and we will be using matplotlib for plotting images and videos inside this Jupyter notebook. The python file yad.2k, yad2k.models.keras.yolo is provided by Darknet which who are the creators of the YOLO model. We will be using these functions to create bounding boxes as shown here. The problem statement involves us detecting vehicles and uh, traffic lights basically things which are important for autonomous driving from this video in which a car is moving on the road while there are different cars and street lights and trucks moving around this project is derived from drive.ai and the data set and all the models have been used from there for each and every bounding box we will be taking out a class probability which is a confidence score of that vehicle or that object being inside that box we will be extracting features of the bounding box it has the center of the box the bx by coordinates and the height and width bhpw c is the class of the object yolo can detect 80 classes <clears throat> and among those 80 in this image there is a car which corresponds to class value 3 and that is why the value of C is 3 where 3 is for car. YOLO is a popular algorithm because it achieves high accuracy while also being able to run in real time. This algorithm only looks once at the image in that sense it requires only one forward propagation pass through the network to make predictions. After non-max suppression it then outputs recognized objects together with bounding boxes. The image, the image is a batch of images of shape m, 608, 608, 3. M is the batch size, and 608, 608 by 3 is the size of the image. This is the standard size, and we will be resizing our input images to this size for bounding boxes on them. Then we have values of PC, BX, BY, BH, and BW, and C. Now C is not just a single value, scalar value as we have shown here, but it will be a huge vector of 80 dimension. These dimensions would be represented by 80 class probabilities inside this vector of size 85. Each and every one of the, after propagating the image from a deep CNN, we will be reducing the image by a factor of size 32 and uh, it will result in an encoding of size 19 by 19 by 5 comma 85. 5 are the number of boxes. Each of the box represents information pertaining to the confidence, the different coordinates of the bounding boxes and the 80 class probabilities. We will be flattening the last two dimensions so that the 19 by 19 by 5 by 85 image is converted into 19 by 19 by 425. 425 values are the 5 anchors and uh, the 85 values inside each one of those anchors. For each box we would compute element wise product and extract a probability that a box contains a certain class. The confidence probability will be multiplied by each of the 80 class probabilities to calculate a vector. In it, each of the scalar values represent the probability of that item belonging to that particular class. In the above example, the object to be determined was a car. 
and in that particular bounding box the confidence score of the car when multiplied by C3 was 0 0.44 the sum of all of these values will add up to 1 and that is why we choose the highest value from all of these which is 0 0.44 which belongs to C3 C3 is class 3 which is a car right we can show an implementation or a visualization of the algorithm as follows we will be denoting different colors to different classes and the boxes which give out the probability as we have selected from here will be colored in that particular sense the car is denoted by orange color road signs by purple trees by green traffic lights by yellow sky by sky blue and road by back and background as gray so these are the various boxes as we have colored them <clears throat> we can also show them as different bounding boxes in that image <clears throat> these bounding boxes are obtained just by one forward propagation we do not need to repeat different different bounding boxes and repeat the forward propagation for each one of those boxes we can just do it once and for all this is why YOLO is extremely fast and very accurate now after we have obtained all of these boxes we would like to get rid of those boxes with uh, low scores and select only box when several boxes overlap with each other and detect the same object first we will be filtering with a threshold on class scores the probability class scores are denoted by the box confidence we will first take the box confidence of each and every one of these five boxes then we will be extracting the information bx by bh bw from each of the five boxes and then we will be looking at box class probabilities then we will be applying the threshold if the threshold is if the class scores of each and every box is greater than threshold then only we will be storing them in the filtering mask then we will be applying this boolean mask with this filtering mask on each of the box class boxes and box classes then we will be returning these scores boxes and classes after they have been filtered with very low probability scores the next step we have to do is when several boxes overlap each other and detect the same object we have to choose only one box for that we will be using non-max suppression non-max suppression is basically an algorithm which uses intersection over union iou is basically given as if we have two boxes d1 intersection b2 upon b1 union b2 this will give us an intersection over union score this score is returned by the IOU and using this score we will be implementing non-max separation as we have shown here. The IOU threshold that we have obtained from the above image we will compute each and every one of the IOUs as we have shown here. If we like just run this cell. we can see that the IOU score for these two boxes is 0 0.1428 right and our threshold is 0 0.5 so this box would probably get filtered out by our non-max suppression then we will again return the scores boxes and classes then we'll wrap up the filtering for each and every one of the image we will be directly taking in an input image and then uh, we will be applying non-max suppression as well as filtering all those boxes based on their confidence scores and then we will be retur returning these scores boxes and classes we, we are basically in this function using all the above functions that we have implemented then we will be loading a Kera session now YOLO can detect up to 80 classes but we do not need 80 classes for application we need only a few of them which we define in YOLO anchors. COCO classes are common objects with context these classes have 80 these classes are able to identify 80 different objects. We 
sorry for the disturbance by using coco classes for the original yolo model we were able to identify 80 classes but we do not need all those classes which are not useful for us in autonomous driving applications so we will only be sticking with a few of them which we have defined in yolo anchors.txt now we will load a pre-trained model training yolo takes a very long time and requires a very large data set of labeled bounding boxes for a large range of target classes we are going to load an existing pre-trained keras yolo model stored in yolo.h5 these weights come from the official yolo website and were converted using a function written by alan zirena references are at the end of the notebook these parameters are for yolo version 2 model but we will simply refer to them as yolo all right so our models have been loaded we can see the summary of these models as you can see we are taking in 416 by 416 we aren't using 608 by 608 images as we showed here earlier in this example we will we were going from 608 by 608 to 19 by 19 but uh, that is not what we were we are going to do in yolo version 2 model in it we are going to use 416 by 416 by 3 images and uh, encoding them into a size of 13 by 13 by 425 425 is 5 into 85 which is the output classes size as we have shown above here right so we have seen the model summary now we will store yolo outputs we will be sending in the anchors and the number of classes that we are providing for our autonomous driving application then we'll be evaluating the outputs and the image shape the image shape is as we have defined here 720 by 1280 so the images that we will be providing to our network are of that size and we will be resizing them so that we can scale the bounding boxes to our original size right now we will run the graph as we have created keras session here we have uh, stored this model on our graph it is like a skeleton and uh, we have to feed the muscles to the skeleton now the muscles are the weights now for using the body we will be sending in images to that skeleton and these images will, will be run through the graph and they will create output boxes around the image like this you can see here there are two cars I'm sorry for this fumble as you can see there are two cars it has detected them with confidence scores of 78% and 83% and these are the boxes that have been drawn on it right if we apply these to the video as we have seen above it will look something like this see there is a truck there is a car traffic light each and everyone has bounding boxes drawn around it in olden days we used to use hard cascades in OpenCV which was quite slow and redundant and used a lot of processing power nowadays we have shifted to faster methods and highly accurate methods like YOLO if you need more information you can use these references for reading as they have already implemented these networks and how they have you know obtained their inferences for now this is it thank you